see the holes in there. Pastor Jose Ruiz looks up, not for inspiration, but to see the damage done to his church along Oleander Avenue. Never anybody here see like, like this all I see in the movie. His early morning prayer service Sunday disrupted by a gunman. Around 4.45 a.m., a man came into the church mm -hmm. looking for his wife. He had a weapon, you know, so. And so when nobody responded, he, he, he man. Shots were fired into the ceiling, and as about 40 congregants oh, ducked for cover, the armed man asked for the leader of the congregation. I, w I, want, I, want to, I want to kill everybody, say, with everybody, you know, is scared, you know. Again, when there was no response, the man fired more shots into the air before heading out into the entryway. Pop, 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 pop. About 18 shells were found in the church. And the attack came just a week before the church planned to install new security cameras. We would never thought in a million years that it could have happened to our church, but it could happen anywhere. It could happen any place, anytime. Daniel Natal says he didn't remember the time change, so he would have been inside at the pre-dawn service. But his late arrival allowed him to see the gunman leave the building. He was walking towards his vehicle. We saw that on his left side, he was holding a, a, a long rifle or a gun. The pastor says the gunman eventually turned himself into police. Fort Pierce police citing Marcy's law would not identify the suspected shooter. Even after that traumatic incident, services went on as planned later in the day. Pastor Ruiz says it's a miracle no one was hurt. God do the miracle. God do good work, you know. I praise the Lord. That's why I tell all my people, you know, don't give up. Fort Pierce police say this is still an active investigation and are looking for more information. John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.